and uh, welcome to this uh, chair yoga class. Uh, today's class is all about shapes um, and moving shapes of your body but we're going to first of all think about shapes in your mind. So hopefully you've come to a comfortable seat um, and feel quite relaxed and supported by the chair or the seat or whatever you're sitting on and your heels are under your knees, your hips under your shoulders and the back of your neck, imagine it kind of stretching, lengthening up as you feel quite relaxed. Palms can be face up on your lap or down, whichever is comfortable, so your arms and your legs can relax. And this part, you can close your eyes um, or just gently gaze at a spot on the floor in front of you. And we're gonna try and imagine in your mind a really white blank space or a white canvas as you imagine this space, just think about your breath. So, filling the lungs gently full of air and then letting your chest relax as you breathe out. As you imagine this white blank canvas and you've got any to-do lists or any things that have happened or coming up, you're just gonna kind of empty them out of your mind and just focus on the current moment, the, the present. Doing some exercise and um, some movements to make yourself feel good as you just gently breathe in and relax as you breathe out. Keep focusing on that breath and I just want you to make the breath more deep. So throat, chest, abdomen as you fill up and then abdomen, chest, throat, throat, chest, abdomen, abdomen, chest, throat. And we're next going to think of a square shape in your blank canvas and we're going to use the breath to kind of imagine that square. So as you breathe in, think up the right side of the square Hold the breath as you imagine the top of the square and exhale as you breathe down the left side of the square. Hold the breath out as you imagine the bottom. So inhale up the side, hold across the top, exhale down the other side, hold across the bottom. Now this square shape can be any colour. It might get bigger as you hold across the top exhale down the side, hold across the bottom and keep thinking about your own square and do it in your own pace to fit your breath. You might hold a little bit longer, trace that square in slightly different pace or different size, just trying to focus your breath, a good way to focus your mind and a little bit of imagination, adding a bit of colour this, this is what we will be thinking about in so session, a little bit of playful thinking. So this last square shape of breathing, and we will bring that activity to a close. So gently, when you finish your last square, gently open your eyes. And we're next going to think about circles. Um, so to, you don't have to sit forward yet. We're just going to do some circles with the neck. And it's, in fact, it's little half circles. So just without any breath and movement you can just rotate your chin across your chest and up to one side imagine that these are kind of little semicircles to start off with so these next few movements are all nice smooth shapes any feeling tense around the neck you can sort of stop and move uh, any sort of snags or areas that feel tight maybe one side rather than the other just feel out both sides of your neck with some half circles and then come to a central looking straight forward position. We're next going to do some circles with the wrists. So both wrists, fists you can make as you go one way and the other way and then elbows. Small or large, 
opening up the elbow joint and this is also working the shoulders so quite large big circles and if you want to you can bring the whole arm in depends who you are how much space you've got when you're doing some yoga this morning so careful of the arms circling round and if you want to imagine this canvas it can be different colours that you're almost kind of painting shapes with your body so excellent both arms all nice and warm give them a shake and then we'll do one foot at a time so some circles with your left foot one way ankle rotations knee rotation so to do this any old movements with the leg it can either be the calf is kind of swinging round in a circle or round in a circle this way whatever feels good waking up all the joints and muscles on the left side and then we'll do the right side so ankle first painting circles one way and the other and then some kind of circles with your knee lateral circles horizontal circles i think that might be the same who knows uh, some kind of stretches as we make some more circles and hopefully wake up the leg both legs now should feel kind of quite uh, wake, woken up so come to sit at the edge of the seat and we're going to do a moon salutation um, but uh, so this is a little bit like a sun salutation but we're thinking about the moon so you're going to inter interlace the fingers and bring them to your lap and you're imagining you've got a nice circle shape with your arms breathe out to prepare as you inhale just bring the arms forward and up imagine that circle above your head and exhale bring those hands back down so with the breath to movement expand the chest lift up the arms exhale relax the chest relax the arms back down to the lap one more time maybe bring in a back bend inhale stretch you could arch the back slightly if you'd like and then exhale comes to the middle back down inhale up and then this time we're going to just bend over to your right and then inhale to the middle and bend over to the left so you're stretching the side of your body still trying to maintain that circle one more each side exhale to the side inhale to the middle exhale to the opposite side inhale to the middle and then break free the hands of blood will feel possibly a little bit tingly in the forearms as you've had your hands above your head it sends blood flow the opposite direction it's good if you've been yet yeah, working at a desk um, good to send the direction the blood the other way okay we'll next do a um, moon salutation so it's kind of a combination of those moves but in that um, moon arm shape if you'd like to you can interlace your fingers a slightly unusual way um, if it does again just make should feel slightly different so you've kind of naturally we all do one particular direction with our fingers so thinking about a different direction so uh, this is a series of movements with a forward bend as well so breathe out to prepare inhale arms come up exhale bend forward from the hips and bring that circle down towards the ground relax the neck inhale come up off halfway with that circle so a flat back exhale relax forward and down and then a large move inhale stretch all the way up press into the feet maybe do a back bend and exhale bring the palms down together on the lap still once more inhale shine that circle a headlamp or a moon and then exhale bring it forward and down as you bend from the hips inhale come up halfway exhale 
exhale, relax back down to the walls of the floor. And then big move, inhale. Bring that circle up to the sky. And exhale, release the hands away, break away, and the arms come back down by the sides. Excellent. Uh, we will just do one more circle moon move. And it's a twist. Um, so, interlace your hands however you like. This is a side twist. So we're going to imagine that circle above our head is going to go and face alternate sides with the breath. So, exhale. Inhale, circle comes up. Exhale, tilt from the waist and look over one shoulder. Inhale, back to the middle. And then twist from the waist to look across to the other side. Once more into the middle, waking up the waist, exhale, bend and twist. Inhale to the middle, last time twist opposite side. Inhale to the middle and relax the arms down again. that should feel quite strong we've used the arms quite a lot we're now going to do some um, leg movements and start thinking about different shapes so we're into squares next uh, we're going to do a pose called camel stay where you are I'm just going to turn my chair side on so you can see a little bit better and in fact I'll move my chair back as well so you're coming you are definitely on the edge of your chair and you're going to try and make a square shape or nine, more like 90 degree angles with your thighs and shins so that you're imagining a square underneath your legs. We're going to place the palms behind us on the back of the chair, on the seat, with the fingertips facing your back. If this feels uncomfortable for your wrist, you can hold the chair like this. Okay. Um, but ideally that we're going to try and make, bend the elbows to try and make a nice, an angle, okay, more like we're thinking squares. It depends on why, what your chair's like and the seat of your chair and how kind of, yeah, stretchy you are, but this is it's essentially camel pose, but we're thinking about the squares. So palms down, breathe out to repair, inhale, lift the chest and look up. So you should have bent elbows, bent knees, and then exhale, come back up to a more seated position. Inhale, press into the palms on the chair, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, relax. And this time you can actually lift the hips if you'd like. Inhale, lift the hips, look up. You will have straight arms. Exhale, sit back down. And once more, if you'd like this different, almost a bridge pose, inhale, lift the hips off the chair and exhale, place them back down like so and stretch out the arms, relax afterwards. So that's quite a, a still arms, but a bit more legs. Let's go to do some more legs now. So uh, we're going to do something called a seated lunge. You're going to need to put your left thigh on the chair and your right thigh going back behind you. So for this I've sat more on the right side of my chair. So my left leg is where my right leg just was. The right leg can either come out to a 90 degrees or the knee towards the floor, whichever feels comfortable for this hip because we're going to be doing some movement with our arms in this position. So you can kind of see, I have still got some 90 degree square shapes going on with my body. And I'm gonna do that facing you whilst I show you some arm movements as well. So 90 degrees with the legs. We're gonna inhale, arms come up straight, and then exhale, bend the elbows to make a sort of cactus pose. Inhale, coming up straight, exhale, Cactus, elbows down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, 
last one on this side, strong elbows, inhale, and then arms come down in front. So you should actually, just gravity and muscles have been working on this leg and the back leg whilst you hold that pose and do something with your arms. Well next, scoot over to the other side of the chair. So your right thigh is now where your left thigh would usually be. Your left knee is kind of bending down towards the mat and you might want to have a look again. Are you making some 90 degree shapes with your knees and legs? And we'll breathe out to prepare and the usual thing. Inhale, arms come forward, nice posture. Exhale, elbows come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, pull the shoulders down. Shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, stretch. Last one, exhale. Elbows, ankles. Inhale, up with the arms. And then exhale, bring the arms down. So you should have felt quite a nice stretch into the left hip with the leg in this position as it's uh, yeah, a little bit tricky. Uh, that's called a seated high lunge with cactus arms. Right, the next move is another kind of square but we're going to stand up. So in fact I'll go this way. We're going to stand in front of the seat of the chair and we're just going to bring one foot up onto the chair. So position yourself so you've got a little bit of space and it feels again quite comfortable. We're just going to put the palms of the hands on the knee that's on the chair and then just lunge slightly forward so that you are feeling a stretch in the back of the standing leg and into the hip of the leg that's on that chair. Use gravity, just maybe sort of lunge forward and back, feeling into that side of the body and then we will place that foot back down to do the other side. So again starting from some kind of angle, I know it's not 90 degrees, it depends on the height of your chair seat, hands on the knee and a nice lunge into that opposite leg. Mine's my right, but it doesn't matter which one you're doing, as long as you've done each side nice and evenly. Okay, I think I was going to do something else with that one. Oh, plane plus a twist. Okay, so we'll go back to the first foot that you had up on the chair. And rather than lunging forward, we're now just going to try and think quite sturdy through this standing leg. And we're going to do a twist with very straight arms, okay? So as you breathe in, float the arms up to the sides. As you breathe out, the opposite arm's gonna come round, you're gonna twist and look over that shoulder. Inhale to the middle, exhale, arms come down. So whichever leg, I've got my left leg up on the chair, and it's my right arm goes forward, left back. My left leg's up, so my left arm goes back. I will just repeat that again to be clear. So, exhale, inhale, float the arms up to parallel to the floor. Exhale, arms back and forward as you twist from the hips. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, relax the arms and step down with that leg. We'll do the same on the other side. Should feel quite different, always with twists, you're twisting from the hips and trying to keep parallel with the arms as you twist. So breathe out, breathe in as the arms lift up to parallel, breathe out as you twist, nice straight lines, inhale to the middle, exhale, relax the arms down, once more, inhale, 
parallel arms. Exhale, twist, trying to keep them straight. Inhale, face the chair and exhale, relax the hands down, relax the foot down. Excellent. So that was a series of squares. We're next going to do some triangles. Okay, so this does involve, I'm moving my instructions a little bit closer. So we're going to do um, a side triangle pose and I will tell you left and right for this one. Bring your left foot towards the chair, okay? Your right foot is a sort of quite a, a wide step back from the chair and the, foot, the right foot is kind of in a diagonal position. Both hips face forward um, and you're imagining now a triangle, you're in a triangle shape. So the triangle of your legs and the floor is kind of, I think it's isosceles. Anyway, bring the hands to your hips, inhale, lift the chest and then exhale, bend forward. So as you bend forward, we'll stay here for a little while, you'll feel a stretch down the back of your left leg. What you could do is put your hands on the chair, if this feels easier, a bit of support. Your left knee doesn't need to lock, Make it, it's just finding position for your legs so that it feels like a stretch along the back of your legs, your sort of calves and backs of thighs. We're next going to bring the left hand to the middle of the chair and then we're going to bring the right hand up as you inhale. So it's a twist and a triangle pose and we're going to stay here. So you try and imagine this lovely straight line of your arm going up and your strong legs and then exhale, float that arm back down and we will try the other side if you'd like. Lift the other arm up. Now, so this is called revolve triangle. It is strong in the legs. If it's too much, don't do it. And then bring that hand back down. Inhale, come up to standing and bring the feet back together. So that was quite a stretch into the left leg and a twist. All about lots of different moves. We're next going to bring the right foot towards the chair. So you stay where you are. I've just turned around so that you can see more clearly. The left foot is slightly on a diagonal, toes pointing out towards the side slightly, but the hips face forward towards the chair. And first thing we're going to do is put our hands on our hips. Inhale, lift the chest, pull through the gaze, and then exhale, bend forward from the hips as you try and get that flat back position with the triangle, the strong legs. Once again, if you want to put your hands on the chair for some support, that's absolutely fine. Your right knee is not locked, but you should be feeling a stretch at the back of your legs. And then we will do some twist from this position. So right palm in the center of the chair, squeeze in, sweep the left arm up. So this is called triangle pose. And if you wanted to, you can bring the right hand towards the right foot. Or keep it in the chair. And you can inhale and look up. Keep breathing, stay strong in the legs, even though this is quite a strong position, keep breathing. On your next exhale, left arm comes back down, your chest is parallel to the floor again, and we'll place left hand in the middle of the chair, and then bring the right hand up. You might not feel it's more difficult on this, revo it's called revolve triangle, and exhale as it comes back down. So that's quite a strong position. Inhale, standing up nice and tall, bringing both feet back together. Yeah, quite a big stretch, uh, triangle and revolved triangle. 
Okay, we're next gonna bring, yeah, I'm gonna stand with the back of the chair next to you, okay? And we're gonna do tree pose. So tree, you've got a different type of triangle going on. You're holding onto the chair uh, with I've got my left hand on my chair, my left leg. So the leg nearest the chair is going to be your tree trunk. And then your triangle shape, this time, is with your right leg. Okay, so the light leg furthest away from the chair. You're placing the sole of the foot on the ankle. If you'd like, you can just put the toes to the floor. So you've got a nice triangle shape there or here on the calf, or use your hand. I've got a very small triangle, actually, if you do um, full tree like so. So this is a, a, a static posture where you gaze at a point, trying to stay balanced and focused. And if you want to, you can let go of the chair, bring the palms together to the heart or bring the arms up like the branches of a tree so there are different options and that all trees look different keep breathing keep focusing lift the corners of your mouth and smile and then on your next out breath come back to stand out of the tree posture on that side Happy for you to turn round and try on the other leg, okay? I will turn my chair so that I've not got my back to you. So opposite leg nearest the chair, weight being placed into that leg, thinking up through the hip, and then we're going to turn the other leg out to the side. So we're making a triangle, toe on the floor, or sole of the foot on the calf or sole of the foot on the inner thigh. We can hold on to the chair and bring the arm up, that's still tree position, or palms to the heart. Keep the breath flowing steadily in and out, try and stay focused and if you'd like to bring the arms up Relax the shoulders. Think strong in the tree trunk leg. Shoulders relaxed. Lift the corners of your mouth and smile. And then on an out breath, arms come down, leg comes down. Excellent triangle. And that's a balancing pose. And all yoga practices have twists inversions, balances. Uh, we're next going to do, um, it is a slight inversion and it's back to that triangle with the legs position. So we're facing the back of the chair. Um, we're bringing the right foot towards the chair and the left foot in this diagonal position again. It might be that you are kind of a little positioned a little bit further away from your chair and uh, depends if you want to let go or not so you can actually bring your chest down towards your chair or hold the chair bring both foot slightly further back away and we get this is a triangle forward fold so it's not a moving posture this is a static posture we're just using the breath Again, to feel perhaps that our chest is folding down towards the right knee. The right leg isn't locked. If you want to, you can come down, bringing the hands away from the chair to a position on the leg or on the floor with the crown of the head reaching down towards the floor. So go as far as you feel there is a stretch in your right leg, the back of your right leg. And as always with any inversion, if you have lowered your head below your heart, then the 
blood is flowing in a different direction to normal, then you need to come up slowly. So on an in-breath, slowly, slowly come back. Maybe bring your arms back to the chair and then slowly come back up to vertical and step the feet back together. Just stand for a moment and feel the difference between the right leg and the left leg. It should feel quite a strong stretch again in the back of the right leg. And we'll repeat this triangle fold in the left leg next. So stepping back with the right foot, finding a it's kind of a yeah, medium sized step behind you. Right toes pointing out diagonally towards the side. Holding the chair if you'd like. Inhale and then exhale. Bend, fold forward from the hips. Imagine this back of the neck and the spine all being very flat. And we can stay here, just trying to breathe deeply whilst we stretch this time the back of the left leg. Try not to lock through the back of the left knee. And then if you're comfortable, you can maybe bring your chest down further towards your left knee. Hands can stay on the left leg and then point comfortable to you or towards the floor and you can Finally, the last bit of the pose is to relax the head down towards the floor. So this is triangle fold. It should be a relaxing posture, but it is still strong in the legs. Try and release any tension, no clench your jaw. Relax. Think about the blood flowing, sending fresh oxygen to your brain in this position. slowly, carefully, on an inhale, and stop if you feel that you need to, come up halfway maybe, and then using the chair or your leg to come back up slowly to stand, bring both feet together. Excellent. The after all of those leg stretches, let's just do a po well some, some movements at Tai Chi swing. So you don't need a chair. In fact, the chair, now stand away from the chair for a little bit. And you're just going to bring your feet wider than hip width apart. The toes go slightly out to the sides. You bend, make sure you're not locked in the, the knees. And you can just sway from side to side with the arms moving. It should feel quite nice. It's a little bit freestyle. You can lift the toes up off the floor. You can do these quite large twisting movements. These are called Tai Chi swings. To so imagine your, oh, I don't know, paint spraying out your hands and your pitch. Well, this white canvas, which has had circles printed on it and squares and then triangles, has now got kind of like mad. Andy Warhol paint splatters all over it as well, maybe. Okay, good stuff. Lots and lots of strong leg movements and strong arm movements today. We're gonna to sit back down on the chair um, for the final bit of um, the session, which is a little bit more kind of relaxing and, and unwinding. So if you can, depends if your chair has got like a, my chair's got a little kind of crossbar. If you can, you're going to try and put your feet towards you or you can just come down. You're going to try and hug your knees a bit. Um, if that's not working for you, feet on the floor, you're just going to try and hug your knees and, and bring your head down towards your knees. And if you are up more vertical, that can be like a lot, yeah, give yourself a cuddle. It's always quite nice to give yourself a bit of blood. Maybe swap the arms over so you've got a different one on top. Cuddle the other one around. A seated knee hug. Good. 
and then slowly come up from that. And then we're going to do a seated cat cow back stretch, a nice relaxing um, pose. So we're sat on the edge of the chair, feet placed firmly, really good posture, shoulders over the hips. The hands reach around the knees. And then as we inhale, we lift the chest and the gaze, flex the back. Exhale, lower the chest and arch the back, chin towards the chest. Inhale, chest, neck, stretch. Exhale, arch, back. So it's almost kind of a rippling movement. Go with your own breath, do two more. So the upward position is called cow. And then exhale to the downward position, which is called cat. And just once more, finally, some people will breathe more quickly or more slowly and deeply than others. Just finding this nice stretch in the spine. And then after you've done twice more through those postures, we're going to come back to a more vertical position and sit back into the chair. So it's good to have an upright chair if you have got one. Use it to support you as we're just gonna do a relaxation. Um, really good always to let the kind of benefits of those stretches soak into your bones and your muscles and your whole soul, which is um, yeah the point at the end of the practice. So we're just gonna do a quick relaxation and we're going to think back to that white space. So all of those shapes, you've kind of erased them. You're just going to either close the eyes or soften the gaze and think into every part of your body, how you feel. Thinking through both feet both ankles and the calves, lots of strong calf stretches today. Think about the muscles of the thighs and the quads and the hamstrings, backs of the legs. Make sure you're also relaxing your arms to send these kind of feelings of relaxation, this white space. Think about the abdomen and the chest and your back. So you might again want to start from the bottom. Feel that relaxation kind of flow gently up through your torso, maybe with a breath. The chest feeling nice and open, the shoulder blades relax down the back of your body. up through your neck, the back of your head, over the crown of your head to your forehead and temples, this nice white smooth space, imagining perhaps that white canvas at the front of your mind. Your face is smooth, relaxed, no tension anywhere tongue gently relaxing the bottom of your mouth, just the air flowing in and exhaling out, your nose or mouth is fine. And we will just go back to those squares. side of the square as you breathe out and hold the breath out along the bottom. So if you 
you thinking about that square and your breath coming in, holding, going out and holding out. A square can be any size, any colour. focus on it because yeah no matter what else is happening in the world you have it within yourself you can come back and try and make yourself feel relaxed and comfortable remembering how you feel right now at any point during your day just trying to sit and visualize this feeling of relaxation and focus with some squares and some Just one or two final squares. Everybody's doing their own shapes and colours. I quite like that idea. The whole rainbow of squares going on. And then imagine those squares just fading away as your breath comes back to normal. And you take a large, full breath in and send the energy to your fingers. Just wiggle the fingers. deep breath in and then maybe rip, roll the shoulders move the legs a little bit waking yourself back up hopefully you didn't fall asleep and we'll bring the palms together at the heart thank you for uh, practicing with me today um, and as you go forward be kind and mindful in how you think how you speak you feel and how you act. Have a great rest of your day.